Okay, pause and copy everything you see here. Okay, so for the exercise, hopefully you got some um, divergent. Um, roughly the idea is here. Um, okay, so if we have an integral now that is infinite in both directions, or I should say the interval of integration is doubly infinite, infinite what we're going to do is uh, break it at some real number c. So c can be any real number. Uh, usually use like 0 or something. And we'll look at the two, one, two integrals. And we'll say that the original converges if these two both converge. OK, let's look at, it at an example here. <clears throat> so by definition, we go uh, and break this. I'll choose C to be 0 for this example. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. I lost my limits. Don't forget your limits. Limit. Maybe I'll wait until the next. Yeah, I should wait until the next step to put my limit in. So the first thing I do is use the definition to break. And then we have limits. First one is t going to minus infinity. And the second one is, uh, yeah, we'll just use t again, plus infinity. So I put my t there, 0, x, e to the minus x squared, dx. And over here, the t goes up top. And voila, plus in between, Bob's your uncle. OK, antiderivative, I will. Do it um, mentally. Um, u is equal to negative x squared. What's that going to give me? Mm, negative a half e to the minus x squared. So double check that mentally. I'm doing a derivative here. And do I get this? And the answer is uh, boop, 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 negative, the negative 2x pops out, and we're good. Same thing in the second integral, but now I'm going from 0 to t. Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Limit t goes to minus infinity. Very tedious, but you absolutely must use these limits. As I mentioned before, if you don't use limits, you are going to get, at most, half the marks. So what's happening over here? Negative a half e to the minus. There's a squirrel outside my window. It's like two feet away from me. It's very off-putting. Plus a half. So what's happening here? Um, t goes to minus infinity in the first case. Okay, so we get uh, minus a half plus this thing goes to zero. And then 
here we get a minus a half again, right there, plus, um, no, that's not what I get. I get zero here, plus a half for that second bit. So we get just zero. What do we get zero? Well, you know, my guess, not my guess, what I know is that the original, the integrand up here, this integrand here, what does that look like? Uh, goes through zero, zero. Goes through zero, zero, you know. And uh, does probably something like this, and then has the mirror sort of image over there, so. This area is canceling out this area. So we get zero. Um, what about that limit I did? I did a limit t goes to say minus infinity of, what was it, a half e to the negative t squared. Why did that end up being zero? What the hell? That's one over two, two e to the t squared. So that is, um, well, you're squaring, right? It's squared, right? So that's this thing right here is e to a positive exponent. Okay, so this is like um, of the form one over plus infinity. So I get, I get zero.